Hey everyone, how is everyone doing on this uh, Monday night, I suppose, Monday, October 17th. So, I'm doing my podcast on a Monday night. I'm sorry, it's kind of late. Is it on? Um, here on the East Coast, I have the United States. Um, Are you surprised that I'm actually at a new place? I'm not staying in a hotel. No, I'm sorry. This is not a hotel. This is not a fucking Airbnb either. So, finally, 21 fucking years in this country, right? 21 years. in this country and finally I can call this place a home it means I'm not paying any fucking rent anymore does that actually make me any better than all you renters out there especially in Jersey City which is basically the hotbed of rentals In the entire United States, right? So, yes, took me fucking 21 years to buy something, hmm, finally. I thought, actually, I thought that I was going to go under after fucking COVID. Yeah, I mean, to an extent. On my own making, you know, use COVID as an excuse to just like not do anything, you know. Um, but was COVID real? Of course, it was real. So it was fucking real as uh, a hoax. Mm -hmm. As my lovely wife would say, well, you should have some of these dry fruits in your pocket. Right? Apricots are the best where we come from. You see the dry apricots? Um, we have the best walnuts. Fuck it, man. Hmm? But here's the thing. The thing is that we need in those areas, in, in that area means the town I grew up in, Hunza, right? But what we need is electricity, sir, man. Because my problem, it's not really my problem, but I think it's everybody's problem, which is that you know that we have been addicted to these gadgets. How many times do I say this, sir? Well, I have said that a million times, gazillion times, is what I have to say, because that's the fucking truth. And the truth is that you would think that you'd be able to actually live without your phone, maybe it could be a Buddha, or even Christ. 
right? Go to the fucking monastery. Yeah. Well, even for me, I don't even know where my fucking phone is right now. It's actually better. You know? See, this is how we are going to be fucking programmed by these phones. It's like, yeah, we created something, right? But then, guess what happens? It's going to recreate us, which is already doing. Because I'm, now I'm thinking, where the fuck's my phone? You know, I'm thinking about all this, like, you know, the, the, the whole my rant about how we are addicted to these gadgets and like, you know, um, because constantly we are on these fucking machines and I'm hearing, I'm hearing, and this is fucking real as anything, right? That all these young kids are actually on fucking TikTok. Are you, are you fucking man? TikTok, yes, I understand. I understand TikTok is, you know, is all these young kids who want to post like 20 second videos of their dancing and all that, right? But uh, who was talking about that? Oh, Joe Rogan was talking about TikTok is basically some sort of a, a Chinese uh, way of like gathering information from the United States and all the fucking world. TikTok, I think, is China's attempt to attract people towards its own agenda. Which is, well, you have to understand that these countries, these fucking countries, China, Russia, you name it. You fucking name these countries. And I'll give you a fucking 101 and 202 on these. I'm not going to do that because. It's obvious. Because it's fucking obvious that we, we are actually as consumers, actually, doesn't fucking matter what country you are from, you know, let's set aside politics and, you know, these, like, these countries which have no fucking regard for, like, freedom. Freedom. Yeah. You get my point, right? Freedom is what we all fucking seek in this world. I take freedom for fucking granted. I realize. Especially when I leave this country for a brief period of time. And then I realize, oh shit. You know, I have the fucking freedom right now. I mean, it's fucking midnight, but I could just like go anywhere and just like, hey man, uh, I could go anywhere and, uh, As long as the restaurant is open, as long as the bar is open, right? I'm not promoting alcoholism or out drinking. But the point I'm trying to make is the freedom. 
you know how the the model of the western culture yes well i mean listen western civilization has gone through what many of these other civilizations have not gone through i'm not saying that the western civilization the western culture and the idea of freedom and our bed is the ultimate or should be ultimate but somebody should tell me the alternate what's the alternate right so that's yeah what's the fucking alternate you become fucking ram das after you drop out of like fucking harvard university or MIT, after you take acid and realize, oh my fucking God. What am I doing here in this fucking 60s, 70s, even 70s, fucking 70s, Harvard, then MI2. MIT, sir, not MI2. So what's, yeah. What the fuck was going on at that time? I mean, yeah, you could say that, yeah, CIA was running like some MK Ultra program, right? And then fucking Charlie Manson and a lot of that fucking bullshit that happened in fucking California, right? But that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is that people think that, oh, America is so fucking corrupted. That no, that we have to preserve our own culture and we have to do this and do that, not to spoil our. Well, I'm sorry, I got news for you. It's not America, it's the fucking freedom these kids want. I'm sorry. There's the fucking truth. All right. So, which choir I'm preaching to here? Well, depending on which side you are, right? Yes, I understand the Western civilization has its own problems, has had its own problems. And uh, I'm not promoting any, like, any agenda. I'm not promoting through this fucking podcast any fucking, you know, notion or, you know, belief. What I'm trying to promote is the freedom. You have no idea. See, there are two things I observed. And that's why I actually went crazy. Well, I mean, I didn't go crazy, but yeah, I did go crazy during all this fucking time. I was in the fucking mountains, right? My marriage, my sister's marriage afterwards, right? I went fucking crazy because I thought, holy shit. I understand. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, you know, I. I didn't mean to cause any fucking disturbance for you. But the problem, the problem in that society. And I'll get to the problem in this fucking society here, where I've been living for far, for, for, for the past 21 years. The problem with that fucking society is that it's all so dependent on family, human values, 
Yeah, I get that part. You know? You have no fucking decision, personal decision to make. Maybe you do with your wife and whatever, right? But then it's all family time. Like you have no fucking life. That's what I felt like. That's why I was trying to fucking run away, dude. It's trying to run away, trust me. Because I thought that if this is what I'm going to fucking leave, you know, and I was already like, you know, I'm, I'm a nervous guy and rebellious to begin with. For you to tell me to do what the fuck you want me to do, no, 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 sir, it doesn't work that way. I do what the fuck I want. I don't mean to cause any trouble for anyone. But the problem is you won't understand me. Yeah? So, the understanding is that you are molded in that fucking society which tells you it's all about family and culture and this and values and this and that. But how about your own fucking individual life? Do you have any like means of like to make a fucking decision for your life? Besides your father tells you, your mother tells you, your fucking aunt tells you. No, 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 no. See, see, this is where the Europeans actually they have gone through all this bullshit that you all. Have not. Yeah, you could say, you know, they had the privilege and, you know, they had the privilege and they had the means and they had the resources to do this and do that. And do. Yeah, I understand that part. It wasn't a fucking match made in fucking heaven. I understand that part. But um, no politics involved here. Fuck the politics. I don't give a fuck about politics. Okay? What I'm saying is the difference between the cultures. Because I went, uh, I went there for my marriage and my sister's marriage, right? And all I could see was just family time and just this time. I'm like, dude, give me a fucking break. I mean, sorry. It was all good. Everybody loved me and half of the people probably fucking hate me, right? But the point I'm trying to make is that Where is the media? Where's, where's, where is the median? Where is the... Okay, well, let's... Okay. Yeah, I told you. There you don't have an individual life. No, you don't. Unless you want to become a lunatic. And... Uh, yeah, some people have done that. I heard one of um, one of my cousins, she married into uh, a family, right? Uh, one of my older cousins, and then she was telling me that one of her uh, her husband's brothers, actually, he has just become like that, you know, he doesn't give a fuck. And I think I understand where he was coming from, he's coming from, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can understand people can, can go to the extremes, you know, of like, okay, you know what, this, dude, I, I understand like family time is good and all that, but I, I have my own fucking life. I'm independent. He doesn't fucking dictate my life. Nobody dictates your life. And that's the first thing you should understand about freedom. Freedom is your life. You is who dictates your life. No one else does. Not even your fucking wife, not even the God, the Christ. 
All right? Not your parents. Yeah, they can give you suggestions. Take the fucking suggestions. Take the fucking opinions. But you make your own fucking decisions for your life, sir. In May, same thing. Do not come under so much fucking pressure. I understand. Because what I realized, I mean, you know, like, I don't, like, no, I do not come under any fucking pressure whatsoever, right? But I could see, especially all these young kids, be that males or females or otherwise, right? I could see how they can come under this pressure of like, well, first of all, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me step back for a second. All these young kids in their 20s, in their early 20s, okay, who want to get married, think this through in your fucking life. Think this through. All right? Because, yeah, you want to get married? I understand that part. And I also understand that part that in that part of the globe, aka our planet Earth, you have no other choices. You can, yeah, you could probably date, right? You could probably date and I have no idea. I don't think so. Yeah, you could date and you could meet her or, you know, you can meet him and, you know, whatever, family events and all that, but then, then what? Right? Yeah, I understand that part. But do not ever get married because of family pressure. When I say family pressure means that you are going to get caught up. Not caught up, but you're going to get caught in, in your own fucking mind. You're going to say, oh, wait a minute, so she got married, so maybe I should get married too, right? I like this guy, I mean, he's a fucking whatever, right? Don't fall into that fucking trap, no. The problem is that a lot of people from that area, they think that they know what the fuck they're doing. And I don't blame the young people. I don't blame the youngsters in their 20s, even in early in their early 30s. I don't. Because they have no fucking idea. Because nobody has guided them. No. Especially on the dating scene. No. You know what, what they've been told? What they've been told is what the society says or this and that. Oh, this guy is like you. He's a fucking, uh, whatever, right? I mean, unless, by the way, am I being too fucking serious about these fucking topics? When I have to cut my fucking beard, you know? Yeah, I did some fucking shopping today. This is my new place, by the way. Did you guys, you guys see it? You see the fucking French door in the back, huh? You can see Hudson River. You could probably see a Statue of Liberty from here. No, you can't. This is more like southeast. I think Statue of Liberty is more like, oh, wait a minute, it's on the fucking north side, sir. Am I the south side of Statue of Liberty? The lady? See? The lady brought here the fucking freedom. You know? And... And so... Am I turning this podcast into like a... Dating advice? Uh, podcast for uh, kids from Hunza. Maybe. Maybe. Because they need help. I think they do. 
Not that they need help, but I think they need advice. Advice that these fucking parents would never give you. Because they have no fucking experience either. Or even if they do, they would hide it. They would hide it so that so that these kids would not know. Hey, I got nothing to hide. Huh? Where am I hiding? Yeah, I, you know, I did it. I have dated a gazillion woman. Yeah, from dating websites. In the past, no? And, uh, yeah, some were good, some were bad. And that's how you learn from fucking life. Same thing with your fucking job, right? Same fucking thing, no difference. Good point, right? Like if you are doing a job with one company. Yeah. Then you work for another company. Then you're like, oh, well, I don't like this company. And then you're like, oh, Jesus. I'm not saying that the relationships are exactly the same, but they are more or less the fucking same. Means. Means well. Once you start liking what you want to do in life, right? For example, your job or your career, right? Then what the fuck do you do? You just stick with it, right? Simple as plain, right? You fucking stick with it. Yeah, I don't have my fucking wedding ring. Sorry, lost it. It's all right. But. But once you actually get settled on, 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 on one aspect of your life, which is whether a job or your relationship, right? Then you want to say, oh, you, I mean, not that you want to say, but you say, oh, what? Jesus Christ, this is what I want to do in my life. I'm not saying that, but careers change. I understand that careers change, but then. But the Karians don't actually change. That's actually that's actually an understatement or an or statement for me to say that Karians change. No, they don't. Look at like okay, how many fucking examples? Yeah, I try. I try to like get the fuck away from engineer back in two thousand ten because. Yeah, all my fucking frustration, you know. And, uh, well, I mean, yeah, my frustration with, like, job and my frustration with, like, having no fucking relationship, no girlfriend at all. Just imagine, like, you don't have any f anyone to, like, talk to, you know. Like, that's a fucking misery, to be honest with you. That's a fucking misery. And this is, I think, this is what I'm going to maybe just like say to these young people. Yeah, if you if you don't if you don't have anyone you can talk to, forget all the other things. All right. I'm saying is that yeah, you should talk to someone. Yeah, unless you're a fucking lunatic, which is what I was. Well, I was a fucking nerd, you know. I wasn't interested. Well, in the back of my mind, I was interested in all those beautiful moons, but then, but then I was just taking apart this fucking machine. You know? So, yeah, I was a fucking nerd. And, uh, and, uh, and I think maybe I suppressed my, the other aspect of my life. You know? Yeah, the nerd part, yeah, I mean, I could deal with that, but the other suppressed part is the fucking, that fucks you up, you know? 
So, so the point I'm trying to make is that, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to talk to someone, you want to be nice to them, whether it's a male or a female, be nice, be fucking nice, okay? Uh, but don't give in. Don't, don't, do not ever do you give in to you, the, the nonsense. See, you want to cut the nonsense out of your life. That's very important. That's extremely important. Nonsense after your life means like, for example, yeah, okay, let's bother you, sir, man. Let's talk about that, right? Let's bother you. Yeah, if you are in your 20s, yeah, I know what's fucking bothering you, huh? Relationship. Maybe a job, right? So, yeah, those, both of those are not easy. Both of them are the most difficult part. That, those are part of your fucking life, all right? So, then, what do you do? You're going to, like, you're going to, like, dance, you know, you're going to fucking dance and dance and dance and dance and dance and dance and dance around, dance around, dance around. And then you realize, oh, shit, this is what I need. Get my point? Yeah. So, it's a lot of, like, like, for example, here's the problem, right? Again, without bashing the society in Hunza or, but, 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 yeah, that's, yeah, that society is just like, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all for good. Nobody has bad intentions, okay? That's the whole point. Nobody has bad intentions for you or your whatever, your, you know, or even like your parents or your grandparents, you know, they're doing this all for you, right? But the point, the, the book, okay. but the question is, is that what you want to do? Yes. No, I don't think that's what you want. But then what's the alternative, right? There's no alternative in that fucking society. I'm sorry. This was my fucking dance. And I was going to tell you that you have no fucking alternative other than to get married. Late 20s, early 30s, get fucking married. Unless you leave that fucking country, leave that land, go to somewhere else and then you know and then do your own fucking dances which i did right have girlfriends and whatever right however you fucking do it yeah experience that life yeah have the freedom and then eventually you make the decision what the fuck you want to do right which is what i did so So, am I going in fucking circles here? Maybe I am. But I'm not, actually. And I think this is the best piece, piece of advice and I have given to all new youngsters out there, females, males alike. And And I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I had the privilege. I understand. Sorry. Some of you don't. Many of you don't. I had the privilege of like growing up in an educated family and all that. Although uh, my relationship with my father has always been like weird. You know? And uh, and uh, and obviously, you know, the, uh, whatever, you know, I don't want to go too personal on this one, but yeah, that's going to affect your life. You know, um, you have to be really open. First of all, it's really important. You have to be honest and open with your own self. 
once you open yourself up to your own self what the fuck am i saying i'm saying once you open yourself up to your own self then yourself manifest itself to as to who you are what you want in your life and yeah well i want to be a fucking billionaire like elon musk okay but that's not going to happen right so what's the next big thing happen can happen in my life okay yeah well i bought this fucking apartment luckily you know i didn't go under after fucking covid right yeah i wasted some fucking money whatever right who doesn't yeah well if you are single in new york after covid or during covid or even fucking before covid right i'm not taking any fucking theory but yeah what i'm saying is that yeah you make the best out of your own fucking life okay whether well, you need to get the fuck out of like Hunza or whatever you have to do you want to get to new york you want to get to germany you want to get to where the fuck it is do not listen to other fucking people and do not also not drink too much the problem there is that yeah i understand that we had you know we, our drug of choice was fucking alcohol because of our whatever heritage eastern european or whatever yeah right yeah yeah we used to make wine i understand that part but but now they should not be your fucking goal all right but the problem is that that becomes your fucking goal because then you just keep partying every fucking night right because it's so easy because you have people all over coming over to your place are you going to other places see that's why you have to fucking draw the line and say listen man yeah i can't fucking do this maybe i can just chill out at my own fucking place right and just like you know, hang out by myself Make sense? Yeah. See, that's called the peer pressure. There's a lot of peer pressure, family pressure in that society, and that's not good. Not good. And also, people are telling you to do what all the other people are doing, all the other families are doing, and blah 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 blah. No, that's no 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 no. You fucking do your own. Thing, what you want to do in your life do not adversely affect other people make consigned decisions intelligent decisions all right so now okay so let me get back to this society where i live now what's the fucking problem with this society yeah right yeah see i did all this i did all this fucking moving by myself in the past two days i moved everything from my old place i mean luckily i didn't have to move any fucking furniture because i'm gonna buy a, a bed and i'm gonna buy the couch here right i spoke to my wife today what i'm saying is that like even and I'm not, I don't give a fuck. Like, for example, you know, I have some good friends here, you know, and my sister's here, her husband, although they went to fucking Vegas. I have no fucking idea why, but the, why they went to Vegas after coming back from a lot of fucking traveling. I have no fucking idea. But in any case, you know, I did this all by myself because all the people here are just busy with their own fucking life. Yeah, I could call up somebody and say, hey, man, I, I, I can, can you help me out, you know? But yeah, it's an individual fucking life here, 
But sometimes I question my own fucking self. Yeah, am I being sincere? To my own self. I guess that's my first fucking question to my own self, right? Because that's my own. What do you call my essence, right? So why did I have to be like miserable? I had to do this like I took two trips, you know, on Saturday and, you know. And I mean, actually what happened was that in the fucking bedroom, I was trying to connect my computer using the USB cable, not the USB, but the HMI cable and then the, uh, you know, the, uh, what is the display cable, you know. I was trying to connect that to the to the TV in my fucking bedroom and I couldn't because this TV here you see it right this TV here has this like um, you know you can actually move it you know you can move it to get into the fucking HDMI connectors connections right and all that I couldn't do that in, in the in the bedroom TV and it's fucking heavy dude. Oh my fucking god. <clears throat> I almost fucking kill myself. But what I'm trying to say is that yeah, it's a fucking individual life here. Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Like for example, uh I don't, I don't even fucking know where my phone is actually for the better, right? For the past, like, two days, you know, I have been just talking to my, my wife, obviously, because I love her. And, uh, and she loves me, you know? And, uh, and that's, yeah, that's who I want to talk to, you know? And this is the period, by the way, so this is the period of what I call it the period of separation. For the next six months, three months, whatever the fuck it is, right? And it sucks, actually. You get married, and then you're not with her, you know? And I was telling her today that I can't sleep. And, um... Yeah, well... And, uh... Yeah, well, sometimes relationships are a compromise. So we are going through a lot of compromises. I'm not saying that our relationship is like fucking, you know, dwindling or any of that, but no. I mean, she and I are on a, on a deeper understanding, right? But the point I'm trying to make is that I wish that she were here. Like, for example, you know, I, I came back, right? I came back and people know that I come back. People here in New York, they know that I come back. Nobody has actually, like, send me a text message saying, hey, man, congratulations, by the way. On your marriage. Uh, I'm talking about like my family, friends, people from back home. My colleagues, my ex-colleagues and, and everybody else. Yeah, they've been asking, hey man, send us pictures. But these people. Sorry. But that's not how, um, like, okay. Not all of them, but some of them are like, I don't know, what, what is it? Like jealousy? I have no fucking idea, dude. I have no fucking idea. I mean, pretty much, I told you guys, like, for example, you think that, for example, right? Not that I give a fuck, but... You know, you know that, I mean, for example, my sister knew that I was going to move into my new apartment, right? 
I mean, she knew her, like, ask me, hey, uh, do you need anything? Do you need help in the moon or anything? You know? No, she's in fucking Vegas, dude. So is fucking Christian, right? I just don't give a fuck, to be honest with you. Like, if I knew, if I had, I don't know, I don't give a fuck, dude. Um, but you get my point, right? The point I was trying to make was that, yeah, this is a fucking individual life here. And I have been actually, I have been actually, I, I have trained myself to actually live this fucking individual life, you know? And it's okay. Yeah, I could ask my friend Jamie and, I, you know, my other friend Terry, and they are so, like, nice and, you know. But the point I'm trying to make is that this is the contrast, right, in this fucking part of the fucking globe, right? Yeah, it's a fucking individual life. Yeah, you make it individual in a sense that, for example, I told you guys, right, I did this all by myself. Like nobody, not even like I didn't even ask my engineers, and my friends were asking me if they, you know, if I, if I needed help and, and and all this and all that, and even my ex secretary. Oh, by the way, so I uh, I have said that you know I'm glad that actually we met, you know, uh, we met on uh, when was that last Friday, and uh, I'm glad she's fine because. Without getting into too much fucking details, it's her fucking life. And because uh, before I was flying, she had to go to the fucking hospital, and I, I got worried, you know, generally. But in any case, so she's fine now. And uh, so she was asking me if I needed help, she could help me. And uh, and I said, uh, I didn't even, uh, I said, yeah, no, no, that's fine, thank you, I'll be, I should be fine, because I didn't have to, like, fucking move, like, furniture and all that, you know. Even then, you know, like, for example, when I moved from fucking Brooklyn to, to, uh, to Jersey City, dude, I, I did all that by myself. I mean, you just hired a fucking, you know. I mean, no, I mean, I didn't hire anyone this time, but, moon. But you get my point, right? So, all you um, people out there, I mean, yeah, this is the fucking contrast between the, uh, the, uh, uh, let's say, between the life, let's say, in, uh, in a town like Hunza, Arun Gilgit, right, where I grew up, and here in America. It's it's the individual life versus versus family life. Too much, too fucking much on both sides. Yes. So you gotta keep the fucking balance between your life and your family life. And uh, and uh, if it becomes too much, then yeah. Yeah, then you have to say, no, I can't fucking do this, sir, man, you know, because what you're telling me is not what I want to do. What I want to do is what I want to do is not that I'm telling you to do what I want, but you should not tell me to do what I need to do because it's my fucking life and I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Basically, yeah. That's the attitude that these people need to have back home. Men, women, especially young ones, they should say, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I know, I know, I had to get married and I had to do this and I had to do that, but then maybe that's not what I want to do. Right? So, at the same time, do not Isolate yourself, do not, you know, do not, like, do not, do not, um, for example, say, you know, I just, this is my life and I want to, yeah, well, that's your life. Yeah, that's your life. You should live, for example, you should live your life 
the way you want to live your life. That's the fucking freedom. That these um, none of none of these people have, unfortunately. You think they have the fucking freedom, but they don't. They are just always like squished and like intermingled with the family and the cousins and the fucking you know that's not what you want sometimes you have said this is who i am not that this is who i am but you have said that yeah listen i have my own fucking life i want to do what the fuck i want okay because that's my individual life and and, and i want to be able to exercise my own freedom okay i'm not bothering you I'm not bothering her. I'm not bothering anyone while I'm doing this. So leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. That's that's what all you kids out there need to have that fucking attitude. Alright? Otherwise, they'll fucking squish you around. This is what you should do. This is what you need to do. And blah, 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 blah. In any case, so... The other thing I wanted to say was that, oh, the music, the, the new music from Hunza is fucking amazing. You know, Azim Hunzai, the, uh, the singer. I think I'm going to, if I have some time, I'm going to actually uh, remix some of his songs uh, using GarageBand, obviously, because I used to do that, and that's how I produce my fucking songs, right? Have you ever listened to my fucking songs? Anyone? That sounds long. Huh? What? Um, it's uh, 12.44. So I think I should close my podcast. I uh, am assuming that you all are having a great crowd in the fucking week, right? And... Um, I was up all fucking night because, you know, I moved into this condo. And, you know, the, uh, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, it's just nice. People are nice and all that. I mean, it's a fucking old building. I understand 20 years. The elevator is fucking Jesus Christ. It's like the panel is fucking falling apart, right? Um... The other thing I don't like is the electric cooking. Electric fucking cooking, I don't like. Because I, I was I was talking to my wife and, and uh, I said that maybe I should prepare my breakfast tomorrow morning instead of like driving out to like fucking bagel shop, right? But um, yeah, electric cooking is not fucking easy. Oh my fucking god. I mean, you know what I mean, right? Electric cooking top is the fucking worst cooking experience. If any of if, if any one of you is a chef up there, then they know you know what I'm talking about, right? So uh you know you can actually you cannot control the fucking, you know, the the, uh, the element. Because it goes from like zero to like a hundred for the fuck it is, right? So that's the problem, right? But other than that, I think my apartment is fine. And uh, I almost like fucking dropped that fucking 57 inch TV in my bedroom, you know? But I didn't. Uh, finally, I connected the, uh, the SJMI into the to, into the display because i like to watch movies you know in my fucking bedroom and um and uh what else is going on i mean i haven't been like where's my fucking phone anyways i don't give a fuck it's actually better i don't have my fucking phone you know like because i'll be on the fucking phone looking up shit right all kinds and so, um, I don't know, what else is going on? I mean, luckily, I think the hurricane season is over, right? I hope so. Although, you never fucking know, because fucking Sandy happened at the end of fucking October, dude. I remember that 10 years ago. I remember that fucking Jesus. 
Um, but uh, I um, don't want to sound too fucking pessimistic. Uh, nor do I want to sound optimistic either, because I have no fucking idea what's going to happen. When I say I have no fucking idea what's going to happen, it's like 2024, it's just like a fucking... I have no idea what the fuck is going to happen to me, I see. Um, yeah, fuck all that. Not my fucking problem, you know. I will get into action if, if it affects my life. That's all I can say. And that's what all you all should have in terms of your fucking attitude towards politics. If it doesn't affect my fucking life personally, I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck because all these midgets and all these fucking goons and goblins in Washington, D.C., they're going to be replaced by fucking robots. Yeah. Yeah. Because the robots are going to make fucking better decisions than these fucking midgets and goblins and goons. So and that's all I have said in terms of politics. And uh, 56 minutes, everyone, I, I again, I presume uh, you guys are having a great start of week. And I'm going to sign off. I'll see you all next Saturday or Actually, weekend or Monday night.